May God bless you and greetings to you from our Heavenly Father God and our Lord Jesus Christ. I received this word uh, today, 9-26-2014, and it goes as follows. Son of man, your nation is in trouble. They once sought me during times of trouble, but no longer do. Have they forgotten? Do they not know? That in me lies the power of life and death, sickness or health. I have desired, excuse me, I have devised a plan from olden times. My plan is steady and sure. I have not forsaken my people. My people have forsaken me. Come back to me, my dear precious ones. Come back to me and I shall heal you of your diseases. Minister to your sicknesses. Your enemies are all about your land. They are waiting for the order to strike. My enemies are trying to take away my land from my people Israel and give it to those I, de to those I despise. <clears throat> what right does a man have to break a promise I have given to my people? Did I give forth the commandment to divide my land and to give part of it to another? I shall show my great displeasure at the dividing of my land promised to my people Israel. I shall shake the earth. I shall rent mountains, cause a mighty earthquake and flood in the lands of the people I hold accountable for doing such evil. Warn the people, sound the alarm. At the dividing of my land Israel comes a terrible, ter terrible price to pay for the nations I hold accountable. Repent, 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 O America. The invaders have invaded your land. Your government schemes against its own people and against me. The price to pay is more than you can afford to pay, O America. You can't print enough worthless paper money, pray enough to your new god Satan, weep enough tears to save you. <clears throat> your arrogance has gone about as far as I will allow it to. Just a little further and you will set in motion catastrophes that you will never fully recover from. If it weren't for my bride who dwells in the midst of you, judgment would have already happened. The bride is interceding on your behalf, O America, or else you wouldn't be a nation any longer. Repent, repent, repent. Come unto me, lost little ones. Come unto me, ye backslidden, and I shall forgive you. I shall receive you unto myself. In outer space things are arriving that will cause men's hearts to fear greatly. Your enemy Satan cannot hide it from you forever. Soon, very soon, my arbiters of judgment shall soon fall upon the land. Are you ready? Are you ready, my children? I shall do <clears throat> all the things recorded in my written word and more. Study my written word and learn from me. Listen to my prophets and messengers and live. Accept Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, as your personal Lord and Savior, and live with us forever. Reject Jesus as Lord and Savior is to join Satan and his fallen ones in hell and the lake of fire. I am about to wrap things up upon the earth. It wouldn't be fair nor righteous to allow things to continue to spiral downward much longer. Come unto me and my own begotten Son, Jesus, and live a life that is everlasting with us in joy and peace. Pray that you are counted worthy to escape all these things and to stand before the Son of Man, 
Look up for your redemption draws near. Fear not the things of this world, for I have overcome the world. Come unto me, where there is safety and provision in times of trouble. I love you, my children, I love you. Keep looking upon me. Your bridegroom is coming for a spotless and well-prepared bride. Are you ready? Will you be counted worthy to enter into the ark and attend the merit supper of the Lamb? Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. Okay, <clears throat> I received this word uh, this morning, September the 26th, 2014. Um, I don't know the day, the time, or the hour. You know, people ask me, what does quickly mean? What does soon mean? I was reading in a word he was using, come quickly and soon, you know, in the Bible, the written word of God, which is um, since the first century. Um, God knows what he means by soon. If he says soon, that's what he means. And if you don't agree with his decision to soon, then I suggest you talk it over with him. Um, and tell him he's wrong and doesn't know vocabulary and doesn't know what words mean. I don't think you'll get very far in that conversation. Um, again, I'm the messenger. I speak the words he gives. Um, I just have a sense of urgency, a sense of, you know, get it together. Be looking, you know, it's the lull before the storm. Um, it's like, you know, we're the children of Israel and we come in our journey we have the pillar of fire behind us and we have the Dead Sea in front of us and now we're waiting for Moses to open it up for us so we can cross over to safe ground it's kinda like that in my opinion but you know I can't put a time limit or days to it or hours or weeks or months or even years um, we're coming into the time of the uh, appointed times for the Lord to meet with his people today I believe is the start of the Festival of Trumpets, the Feast of Trumpets, um, and then of course we go into the rest of the Fall Feasts. Will the Lord come back during this time? I don't know. Will He come back this year? I don't know. Will He come back next year? I don't know. Uh, I know that He's coming back. He says He's coming back soon. Um, that's what I believe. I believe what the Word says. I believe what the Lord says. And we just have to hold on to those words and um, you know well you just look at it this way you know when you've been with the Lord 10,000 years and you look back at this time you go oh here I was wearing out and my knuckles were turning white from anxiety and it was only X number of days and then it all it all happened just like he said you know when you've been with him 10,000 years this time will be nothing you know or 2,000 or 1,000 or 500 years or whatever uh, we just have to get through this period of time, and he's helping us. He's giving us a heads up. He's saying, here's what's coming. Are you paying attention? You know, uh, and um, here's what you need to do. You need to go here. You need to do this. You need to come unto me. You need to not be afraid. You need to trust me. Um, you need to know what's going on in your government. Don't totally trust your government. They're working against you, not for you. You know, the enemies are in the land, so be watchful, don't be, don't be, you know, ignorant. He is telling us, he is telling us, he's telling his messengers, his prophets, and they're telling the people. The watchmen are sounding the alarm on the wall, telling people to be alert, pay attention to what's going on around you, keep your eyes upon the Lord, look for direction and instruction from him. And... <clears throat> When the time comes, he says, go right, we go right. If he tells us to go left, we go left. If he tells us to stop, we stop. If he tells us, come up here, then woohoo, then we're out of here. Um, you know, once again, we do it his way. He's the author of this plan. It's his plan. It's been around for millennia, and he knows what he's doing. You just got to trust him. And I know we can get anxious and, and you know, People are hurting right now. Some people aren't working. They don't have jobs. They don't have income. Uh, maybe they don't have a place to stay overseas. 
you know, uh, the Lord's people are being persecuted. Some of them are being martyred. Things look really bad by the five senses. But we just kind of trust in him. You know, what's the alternative? Yeah, what's the alternative of not trusting in the Lord? You know, pretty bad. So I choose to trust in him with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. And I want to declare publicly that Jesus Christ is my Lord. Um, that I believe that um, <clears throat> he died for me. He shed his blood for me. He was in the grave for three days and three nights. God raised him from the dead. He spent uh, approximately 40 days upon the earth. Then he sent it up on high and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He's my high priest. He's making intercession uh, for uh, God's people, including me. Um, that's what I believe. That's what I confess before all men. And that there is no other way that men can be saved. There's no other um, religious figure or figurehead that's going to save you or me. Jesus Christ is the only one. Uh, and trust other religious leaders what they say in their dogma at your own peril not all of them are on board with what the Lord wants um, some of them are deceivers some of them are leading people astray some of them are leading people deliberately down the wrong path certainly uh, within the Christian faith but obviously all the other faiths these uh, Islamic characters that are blowing up everybody and chopping off heads. They are mis they are sadly misled and deceived. And they're going to find hell to be a very tough place to spend their eternity. Um, but, you know, come on guys. You know, think for yourself. Don't listen to some guy in a fancy suit screaming his head off. That doesn't make them right. Just because they yell a lot. Uh, or scream. Or threaten you. Um... That isn't how it works. Jesus Christ is a complete Savior. He saves you. He loves you. He wants you to spend eternity with Him. But He's also a righteous judge. So, got the phone ringing, so I got to cut this off. God bless you. I love you. Talk to you later.